Today I'm looking at my microscope and I'm going to tell you a few things about it. The microscope is allowing me to look at a leaf structure. The structure that I cannot see with my natural eye. So I need a microscope in order for it to magnify this structure so I can see it largely. Micro stands for very small and scope means to look at. Scientists have been using microscopes for many years now. They use microscopes to look at microorganisms. They also use the microscope to look at plant and animal cells. And they're able to look at different diseases and come up with ways to prevent those diseases from continuing to spread. So the microscope is very important. There are two different types of microscopes. One is called the simple microscope because it only has one lens, which is like a magnifying lens. Have you used a magnifying lens before? And do you know that if you put it up against something and look, you can enlarge the print. Well, it will enlarge the print, but it will not allow me to see the structures like I see through the microscope. The microscope that I look through is called a compound microscope, meaning that it has two or more lenses. This particular microscope, it has an eyepiece, it has the arm, the part that you hold on to, it has what we call the stage. The stage is where we put our plate or our uh, lens that we want to look at. It has the stage clips to hold it in place. We have the knob here. The knob will adjust the stage up and down as you need it. We also have a light here at the bottom. This adjusts the light for us so that we can see our um, micro, uh, our leaf better. All right, so those are the parts. Oh, I'm sorry. And here are our lenses. We have a four times lens, a 10 times lens, and a 40 times lens. I'm using the four times lens. But I have another microscope. This microscope is called the U-Handy microscope. This one is different than this one because this one allows me to use my telephone, my computer, or my iPad. I love this microscope also because all I have to do is take this clip, adjust it on the camera part of my phone, and just open the app to UHandy. UHandy provides microscope kits for teachers, for homeschooling, or even if you just want a personal one. All right, so let's look at our first microscope. With the first microscope, at the back you have your switch. This plugs in, and so you turn it on by just clicking the switch button at the back. We have our sample. Then we're going to put the clips on the sample. And then we would just look through it. So when I look through it, if I don't see anything, now I need to make some adjustments. So now I'm going to turn my plate or the stage up and I'm going to adjust the light. What you want to make sure is that you have the part that you want to see directly over the light part of the lens. Then take your adjustment knob and move it till it comes into focus. Now we're going to look at the U-Handy microscope. Remember with the U-Handy microscope, 
This one can be attached to your phone, your iPad, a computer. It can, you can put it on a computer and use it if you're teaching homeschool. You can put it on the computer if you're teaching virtually. If you want the entire class to see one thing, you can attach it to the computer and show the students on the screen. I'm going to show you, let's look at our finger first. If we just look at our finger, what do we observe and what would we draw based on just what we're seeing with our eyes? But with the U handy, now you can see structures and more details where to draw them. Not only can you look at your finger or your skin, you can also look at fibers. to look at one more sample. We can look at this sample on our microscope, the standing one, and we can look at it using the U-Handy microscope. We're going to use the U-Handy microscope. I put on my lens and I have a hair sample. Can you see that? Okay. I'm going to put it on this part. Remember, this is where my this is a part of the microscope, and this has a light on it. So I'm going to put it on this part where the light is. Then I'm going to take the top part to put on my sample. We're going to put it under the lens. you have learned some things about microscopes. I want you to get some samples, make you a slide, put it under the microscope, and take a look to see up closely what you can discover about that particular thing. I'm so glad you joined me today, friends, and I hope you're able to look at a microscope, use a microscope, or use a hands lens so that you can magnify, which means to enlarge things, things that you can't see necessarily with your eyes. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time in the next video. Have a wonderful day.